Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gas here, and for this video, I'm debunking a few little things here. This one, I'm debunking that Helping Hands Gobble Gum Gumball video thing that's been going around its rounds. Now, I posted a video out earlier today showing this, and this was a creation of my own. Not the original video that was being sent around. I uh, Glitch and Queen posted it on her channel. You can go check it out, watch her video on this. But the original one was like a blurry, someone did it with a video camera, sorry, video camera, used their phone to record it and say, oh, look, this is what happens when you get this gumball that is nowhere to be seen in the game. And it's utter bullshit, guys. And I made a video this morning showing me myself using this gumball, which is, is crazy because I didn't actually have the gumball. Now, this video now, I'm showing you exactly how I made it. So what it did was I recorded some basic footage of me playing in zombie mode and stuff like that and stuck it into my Vegas timeline. And literally then I copied it across into Photoshop. And as you can see in Photoshop, I just got it, I looked at the sky just so I get the right hand side here. You can see the gobble gum I was using was uh, in plain sight or out of sight or whatever the fucking hell, I don't even know what the hell it's called. And all I did was I replicated that gobble gum with different shapes over here on the left. So if I add the, so let's say I just remove this image altogether and we have a blank canvas, all right? So on the bottom right of the screen here, if I start enabling these layers that I've created, there's the great outline from when the actual timer of the gumball disappears. We stick the outline in there, and that gets animated later in Sony Vegas, and then we stick the gobble gum in there, like that. And that's the created gobble gum that I did, which is this one here hiding behind there. That is the helping hands gobble gum. I created this myself going off the images that were going around the internet, and I decided, yeah, screw it. I'm going to show people that this is actually bullshit. Thought I'd post a little video to get you guys teased and ready for this, but this is showing you it is not true. Don't believe everything you see on the internet, said Abraham Lincoln. Right, so anyway, so once you've got that, you can also enable that. So you can see in the game, it looks like the actual gobble gum is there. So all I need to do is disable that layer, and it will leave all these layers intact. Now, I save them individually, so I'd save one layer would just be the gobble gum layer. The next layer would just be the the great outline layer then the next the last layer would just be the ring layer so once i've saved all these images together and you save them as a png file that leaves the background like clear so you can uh, like overlay them on top of videos i took these into sony vegas and in sony vegas i just went through my timeline and found a point in the video where where is it I found a point in the video where the explosion occurred so you can see on screen there i have stuck these two layers which if i disable that one you can see Sorry, enable that one. Disable that, that is just the gobblegum disappearing. If I disable that one, that is just the ring disappearing. So as we move further through the timeline of this video, and we get to where the explosion happens, let's just have a quick little play. Oh, that's my audio from before. You see the gumball now is starting to deplete. Now I've added a clockwork kind of spiral effect onto this, so it will show, if I put that in solo mode, you will see it actually just spins around. Well, maybe not, because my PC's not fucking fast enough to show you that. So I'll put it in... Oh, hold on. So, like so. You see the gumball timer tick away, and also for the actual gumball itself, if we enable that and put that into the mix, make it pop at the end, boop, and it is gone. That is simply how it is done, and this is just overlaid onto the actual video footage from before. And you're probably thinking, well, how the hell, because towards the end of the video, you've lost your gobblegum, but you still got your quick revive. Well, like before, all I did was I loaded up uh, Photoshop, and I literally went into Photoshop, and obviously I haven't got the image at the moment right now, but I, I just copied the exact same way as I was doing for the gobblegums, the like the symbol for the quick revive perk and just overlaid this into the video like so if you look on here this timeline here I press solo on that you can see that that is the quick revive perk now if i want to remove that you will actually see how this works so i down myself boom and it's a bit slow i'm sorry guys the timer ticks away you can see my quick revive has actually gone because it was not real this whole thing was a big farce and the guy who posted the original video using his phone and saying this was real was trolling everybody and i just thought i'd prove this to you guys Obviously, I made a little video out this morning just to, like, you know, have a bit of fun with this and all that because why waste a good little troll like this? Why waste it? Well, that just proves it, guys, that this is a massive fake troll that was been going around. The helping hands gobblegum is not real. It is so fake, it is ridiculous that... More proof to this, guys, is Noah J456, one of the big YouTubers, I respect him, he's a great guy. He actually went through the Liquid Divinium and spent 999 Liquid Divinium. 
Now, if this Gobblegum was inside of the game, he would have gotten that. Not some random guy. No IGA 456 would have received this Gobblegum after opening 999 Liquid Divinium. Come on, guys. Think about it, really. So yeah, there you go, guys. That is just debunking the whole fact that this like was an absolute fake. The whole Gobblegum idea, the Helping Hands Gobblegum is fake. Now, take from this what you will, Nola. Call me, call me a hoax, call me a bastard, whatever you want to call me. I really don't mind. I just thought I'd showcase this video. Like I said, I posted the video earlier today just for fun. Don't get too much butt hurt from this. Hope you enjoyed this little showcase, guys, of me showing you how I did things. And yeah, if you did happen to like this video, comment down below what you think. If you're new on my channel, please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma.